How's my hair? Is it good? Yours looks great. Yeah. Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope it's going great and I hope it's about to get a lot better because we're back for another Feature Friday. I know, it's exciting. I'm sorry I missed last week. I was just stressed out and I needed a break, but I appreciate that everyone seemed to really like the series and was excited to see another one. So, you know, we're back. We're, we're gonna watch some videos, huh, Lemon? We're gonna watch some juggling. There are so many good juggling videos that have been posted lately. It seems like quarantine is really sparking people's creativity and you all keep sending me more. Thank you so much for sharing what you're doing and you know, sending me videos that you like. It helps make my job easier and it helps me know what kind of stuff you wanna see. Before we get started, I wanted to take a second and thank everyone who is a member of my Otter Club on Patreon. Thank you so much. You seriously make it possible for me to keep doing this. Like, it helps me a lot. So if anyone wants to join the Otter Club, there's a link in the description. It helps me out and you get access to exclusive stuff like my blooper reel and my slow motion catalog and all those things. So go take a look and see if maybe, you know, you wanna be a part of it. The other person I wanna thank is Marvin Ong. He's a good friend of mine and we talk about videos a lot. So a lot of these videos are ones that he exposed me to and I appreciate it a lot. He's also a really great club juggler. So if you're not already following him, you should go do that. There's a link to his Instagram in the description. So go check him out. He's very good. We're gonna start up first with an Instagram video from Willis. I don't know what his last name is, but we're gonna go with Willis. His name is Willis. And he posted this beautiful trick and I wanna show it to you. I love everything about this video. I love that the clubs are like the one bright thing in the video and everything else is really kind of muted. It's all grays and blacks and tans and the clubs just pop. I don't know if that was intentional, but it just really makes this video extra satisfying and I appreciate that. Let's talk about these tricks. These tricks are so hard. Like the control it takes to roll a club like that and the, the drops to the knee. You know, I don't know all the terms for these things because I can't do any of these tricks. They're really hard tricks to do. I don't know if you've ever tried to roll a club on your body but it's not easy and it's especially hard to do in a consistent cascade pattern like that so great job willis and let's talk about the above angle which is my personal favorite angle to shoot juggling i have a couple videos like this and i just i love the way that it makes juggling look and especially when you're doing tricks like this i think this is a great way to show this type of trick to really see what's happening from above and it's something that we don't get to see a lot. This is just a really satisfying great clip in all the ways. You nailed it. As always with all of these videos I will be providing a link in the description so please go check out the original videos, like them, follow the creators, support the people who are putting their time in to learn these skills and then also share their talents with you. All right next up We've got a long video, yeah. This one comes to us from Stefan Brantzel. Stefan is one of those jugglers that seems to always be having fun and you can just tell he loves juggling because he's been doing it so long and he comes up with some of the weirdest tricks I've ever seen. So you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's watch it. Stefan just explores tricks that I couldn't even think of, let alone do. Oh, it's so pretty. What is that? Oh, it's like wrapped around the body to the same hand. I want to try that. He's very into lately these like tapping tricks. Some of them I love and some of them I don't, but I appreciate how hard and how creative they all are. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I like that one. I can't do overheads with clubs, let alone in flats. So I think that that's a beautiful trick. And I feel like I maybe could actually learn it. <laughs> I like the scissor catch. What a weird scissor catch. That is also really pretty. I've tried the roll just flat, but I've never done it with a throw. That's so cool. Like, they're kind of chaotic. A lot of Stefan's tricks look very chaotic, but that's because they're hard and impossible by most people. So the fact that he can do them is great. Poppy! Oh, well that's just a pretty trick. And that's just a really hard trick. And as is that, they're all hard. Who are we, who are we kidding? <gasps> That's so pretty. Oh, I love that. I actually want to learn that trick. Dang it, now I have to learn that trick. I love that idea of like stopping the clubs in place. That's such a, a great concept and he's exploring it a lot. That's the end of that video, but he has a lot of videos that he's been posting lately and they all explore these really bizarre club 
style manipulations. Go check that one out. What a great video, my brain hurts. All right, next up, I wanted to feature one of the more beginner jugglers like I did last time. I think it's important for us to not only see, but encourage and support new jugglers in addition to advanced jugglers. So this week, we're gonna watch a video by Tillman Vogel. I don't know how to say his last name. He's been posting a ton of stuff on Instagram lately, just showing what he's working on and what he's learning. And I think that's awesome. This one in particular, I thought was really cool because he's doing one up two up variations. The one up two up is a perfect way for especially new jugglers to kind of explore variations and creativity and that's exactly what he's doing here. I especially love the the outside toss, grab with both hands, bring to the other side and toss back up. That is a cool variation. And I also really like that he looks like he's concentrating so much in this video. I just remember when I first started how much, you know, I had to focus when I was juggling and I don't know, it was kind of nostalgic for me to see that look of concentration. Go show Tillman some support. There's a link in the description. Good job, Tillman. If you want to get featured in my Feature Friday video, no matter what skill level you are, make sure that you post a video on Instagram in the actual feed, not in your stories, and tag me at Taylor underscore Trez so that I can see it. All right, next up, we have a video from Lucas Adverse. Come back on. Yeah. Next up, we have a video from Lucas Adverse. I like this video for a few reasons. I feel like I could learn this trick, or at the very least, I understand it enough to attempt to learn it, and that's pretty cool. I also just love that concept of like, trapping the club and then letting it go. And I think it's just visually beautiful, honestly. It's like reversing the momentum of the club just by holding it rather than catching it and throwing it. So that's pretty cool. He points out that this is basically a trick called sunny side up, which is a trick typically done with juggling balls. It's not something that you see done with clubs. So it's pretty cool to see this like weird club knee variation of it. The last reason I love this video is that Lucas points out that it's really painful to hold his leg up that long. And that's why he didn't run the trick longer. And I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> Go show Lucas some support. He posts a lot of great videos and he posts videos of Kendama doing some amazing tricks that I also can barely comprehend. So go give him a follow and let's continue on to the next video. So our next video comes from, I don't know how to say her first name. I, I've been following her for a while. I have no idea how to say her first name. <laughs> how do you pronounce Bregi? Bregi. I, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. I should have asked her before I said, ah, oh, dang it. Anyway, I'm gonna go with Brehia. Let's give it a watch. So I wanted to feature this video, not necessarily because of its like intense technical ability. Not that juggling three balls in one hand isn't hard. It is, and it's impressive, I think, personally, especially as low as it seems like she's doing it. I wanted to feature this just because I thought it was really creative. Changing your shirts while you're juggling is creative. I love it when jugglers think outside the box and do things slightly different. She obviously hurt her arm, which is so sad, but didn't stop her from coming up with a creative way to show some juggling and to work on a trick with one hand. I think that's awesome. Great job, Brech, Brechi. Dang it. Go show her some support. Go give her a follow. Yeah. Next up, we have a video from someone who can only be described as a juggling artist. His name is Bosch. I think that's how you say it. So right off the bat, you might notice he's very small in this very big scenery of stuff. So you kind of have to squint to even see what he's doing. Normally, I really don't like that. A lot of the time it's done wrong, right? It's done unintentionally because people don't know how to frame things. This is done very intentionally. It's very artistic. I think everything about this totally works. This gorgeous landscape that just instantly makes me want to be there. The tricks he's doing are gorgeous. I am not the best club person. I don't know a lot of club tricks, but I do know that these tricks are very impressive and very hard. And he's doing them in a way that is so fluid in the way he uses his arms. They look, the clubs look like they're floating. How does he do that? Lots of practice and time. <laughs> this video can only be described as beautiful. It is a beautiful video. Great job, Bosch. Go give this video a like, go follow him so that you don't miss any of this more beautiful stuff that he posts coming up, so yeah. Next up, we've got another Instagram video from Huacatela. I don't know how to say his name either. That's just pretty, yep. And then like a beat, right? He has like a pause in his video, which just is something that most jugglers don't do. They, they don't have that air. And then he goes right into this, this balance. What? What is happening? And then into a very beautiful choreographed three club 
sequence. There's not a lot of traditional toss juggling with this sequence, but I think that because he's mixing it up so much, he'll have it go really fast and then slow down and then fast and then slow down and, and it'll stop. And it's just really, really well presented and well thought out. I had a hard time just picking one video. So do yourself a favor, go check out his profile on Instagram, see if there's other stuff you like and give him a follow. Next up, we've got Jack Denger, who is just, so satisfying to watch juggle because he makes it look so easy. <laughs> Let's take a look at this great compilation of a few of them. Just into a very clean five up 360 out of seven clubs. Why not? Why not? That is a side swap that I don't know. It's like a D666 or something. <laughs> and that's very clean. And just throw a 360 into there for why not? This is a trick that I really want to learn someday. It's a dream trick. Like the clubs just look like they're floating. Like they look fake. And so do those. Those balls look fake. That's how clean and perfect they, they are. It's just so good and so satisfying to watch him juggle. He's so good. Why are you so good, Jack? Oh yeah, years and years and years of practice. Really great stuff. One of my favorite jugglers to watch. I really just love seeing somebody who's really good at what they do just drill a trick and make it look perfect. And that's what Jack does. Very, very hard tricks that I, I will literally never do. And that's fine because I get to watch Jack do it. So go show Jack some support on Instagram. Go follow him. He's so good. <laughs> All right, last up, we have a very long video. This video is from the Popcorn Club. They're based out of Minnesota and they are just really great club passers. So this is a whole video of club passing. So let's take a look at the Popcorn Club's first try. First try. First try. I really appreciate this opening bit because uh, one, it shows fails, and I'm always a fan of that because, you know, nobody really gets it on the first try. And two, it's kind of a commentary on the fact that nobody ever gets it on the first try, and people online like to make you think that they get it on the first try, but they got it, yay! <laughs> Starting right off the bat with a, a complicated looking passing trick that's just very pretty. Ah, that's so fun! It's so simple, but so fun. I think that's one of the things I really like about this video too, is that it's it's whimsical. Like they look like they're having fun. It means a lot to have like a group that you can juggle with. There's nothing better than having a group of friends that you can do this thing that you love with. I know they love it and it clearly shows in this video. That's so pretty. In front of the fish mural nonetheless, that's a really pretty pattern. Those tomahawk throws, not easy. Under the lake throws, not easy. Oh, there's so many clubs just popping around like popcorn. This video just reminds me of what videos used to look like. Back when YouTube first started and people didn't care about money or views or subscribers, it was just make something fun and share it. This is what it felt like. It was people doing this, just having fun. And then they go into a performance showing live footage from live performances, which is even more impressive, honestly. It's so much harder to perform <laughs> juggling tricks than it is to just do them. So if you can do them on a stage, it's extra impressive. Oh, I love the visual of that one. Just like the clubs, the two clubs going backward and forward. It's so pretty and very hard to get synced up right. That's another trick that I really want to learn someday that I cannot do. If I tried to do that, I would fall and break my face. It's definitely what would happen. <laughs> I love this shot. I love the way it's composed. I love the lighting of it. And the tricks are so pretty. This revolving center, very impressive. What? What? Oh, that's so hard. That's really satisfying. Those are really satisfying tricks. Obviously, there's a lot more to that video than I showed. Go check out the full thing. And if you want to show them extra support, I know they're taking a PayPal donation for that full length video. Optional, of course, but I'm sure they would appreciate it. There aren't a lot of people who do club passing videos online And so it's really refreshing to not only see some great club passing But see so much of it in such a great well-produced long video That is all the videos I have for you this week Obviously there are a lot more that I can feature and I will but we can only do so many in this amount of time It goes by real fast. <laughs> keep sending me the videos that you want to see featured Keep making videos keep trying things keep supporting each other That's that's the whole point of this. I really encourage you to actually go check out those original links, show the actual creators some love. We want to encourage each other and build each other up. 
so please go do that. I also wanted to quickly shout out to my friend Kai, who's doing a series sort of similar to this, but focusing more on like the coolest, most epic tricks that have come out that week that he found. It's really good. He features some really great stuff and he offers a really great analysis of them. So if you want to go check that out, his YouTube is in the description as well. And go, you know, get exposed to even more awesome jugglers. Yeah. Other than that, I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll be posting a tutorial this weekend so you can learn some new stuff and I'll be back next week with even more content. So make sure make blah. so make sure you're subscribed. Lemon, you fell asleep. You fell asleep during all the videos. You just don't like club juggling, huh? Because when when I club juggle, the clubs fall and make a lot of noise.